year 2 volume 5 today i'm going to share my thoughts on horikita's decision so buckle up because there is a lot to unpack this volume was in my opinion one of the most thrilling volumes of classroom of the elite there was not a single point where i wasn't thrilled to know what is going to happen next every moment was just so impactful especially the chapter horikita's decision so as we know about the exam, the unanimous voting exam is a one-time exam, like there are exam curricula that repeats after every four years so that no senior can already warn their junior about which exam they are going to face and how to pass it, which is kind of logical. And then we have exam that happens when some sort of decision is needed like when two or more classes are tied for class A at the end of third year and like the situation that happened now when very few students have been expelled from a grade. So the school uses these emergency exams that are easy to conduct and helps in determining a winner. Unanimous exam being one of these was teased a lot to us by letting us know that this exam was the root cause of teacher's past trauma because it was that much vicious of an exam. This exam breaks Chabashira Sensei for 11 years so we knew this exam wasn't going to be a walk in the park and oh boy were we right. This volume changed classroom of the elite as we know it. There were some obvious changes but there were also some changes in characters that you don't observe unless you are a deep reader, which I believe most of you are but still I am going to share some of these. Starting with the 5 questions which the class needed to be unanimously agreed on. The trip one was the easiest because there wasn't any disadvantage of any sort. Ayana Koji wanted to go to Kyoto which I think will be the place where they will go because I believe other classes might have chosen to go there, especially Sakayanagi's class because while reading I had the feeling that Sakayanagi would know where Ayana Koji wanted to go so she would choose Kyoto. It would be pretty interesting if we get a trip there. Moving on we had a moment where Horikita got the protection point and also the moment where the test difficulty was raised for the future exams also with choosing Ichinose's class as the target. Now this stuff does tell us a lot about future volumes. We pretty much know which special exams are going to happen in the next 3 to 4 volumes. Now keeping that aside we get to our last question. Expel one student out of class for class points or just simply move on. Now that is an easy question to answer for a class but we as the reader knew it wasn't going to be easy and sure enough we got two votes in favor. I knew the first one was Kushida but didn't know why would anyone else vote in favor like what would be their motive. But sure enough we got Koenji requesting some private points in order to vote against and after that moment everything became tense. To be honest, I literally was feeling the tense environment with every vote, with every minute, my curiosity was just increasing and when the 2 hour limit was reached, Aina Koji finally took the lead and from that moment onward, it was just the epic scene that everyone wanted to see. Aina Koji revealing bit of his true personality to his classmates and what followed was absolute thrill. Now before discussing whether Horikita's decision was right or wrong, I want to discuss about Aina Koji's decision that he made right this moment and this was one of those changes, the non-obvious change. Because there was a lot of change in Aina Koji's character, firstly he didn't want to leave any classmate for 100 class points which isn't how he used to think when he came to school but more importantly he stepped up because he knew he was the only one who could solve the situation when the one vote in favor was not budging and this was where I thought this isn't the Ainakoji who wanted a peaceful school life. Also from the past volumes Ainakoji is participating more in the chase to class A. There is something about him that feels changed. He puts going to class A now as a priority and after that his classmates. So his decision initially was to just be done with the exam. But as things progressed he changed his plan to finally expelling Kushida who was doing Yagami's bidding. And he confronted Kushida and sure enough as I thought he used those transactions against her and revealed her personality to everyone. At which point I was sure it was over for her like she started revealing everyone's secret and stuff and she was about to get expelled. But at this point Hurikita made a decision which wasn't even expected by Ayana Koji which drained everything Ayana Koji did because it was totally opposite to Ayana Koji's plan. 
Now Ainokoji felt that Horikita's decision wasn't right. He even said that it's too soon for Horikita to do this. That is to start making decisions like this on her own. In Ainokoji's defense for what he did, I will say he didn't want it to go that path. At this point, most people believe that Ainokoji was wrong. He shouldn't have gone for Sakura. Instead, he should have pursued Kushida. I can see why someone would think that, but I believe what Ainokoji did in that situation was the optimal way to handle things. And I believe I have the reason why. So at that point, Ainokoji was the one leading everyone to a single proposal and almost everybody was ready. But when Horikita stopped him and declared her intentions immediately, that was when he knew that whatever happens, Horikita isn't going to back down. She wasn't the Horikita who Ainokoji can convince, especially not in front of everyone since he had to really, really show everything about him if he wanted to change Horikita's decision. Now you may think, he still could have tried to convince her. No, the last thing Ainokoji wanted in this situation was to create confusion in the class at the last moment. That would have been worse. He knew if he wanted to go for Kushida, he would have to directly oppose Horikita. And since Horikita wasn't going to back down, it would be a waste of time. And it wasn't the time to confuse their classmates further who were already shocked by all this. And also, he knew immediately what Horikita was pointing to when she said they can't expel someone capable like Kushida. He knew they both had the same person in mind. And this was another reason why he didn't press further on the matter of Kushida because one big mistake which Horikita could have made if it wasn't for Ainakoji was to say Sakura's name for expulsion herself. Yes, you heard that correct. Horikita saying Sakura's name would have been a big mistake and that's why Ainakoji stepped in because he knew, except Kushida, since Horikita wouldn't agree, they had to expel someone as soon as possible Everyone has friends in the class who will stand for their friends. And since there was almost no time, they had to choose a person over which they can convince everyone to vote for them, even their friends. And there was unfortunately only one person, Airi Sakura. Now, if Horikita would have taken the name herself, then Haruka would oppose it of course. And there's also a chance that Airi will oppose it too because she wanted to stay close to Ainakoji. And if Airi opposes it, then no matter what they do, Haruka will never change her decision. In fact, in the end when she said yes to expulsion was when Sakura told her to say yes. If Sakura insisted on staying in the school, then there was no chance that Haruka would say yes to her expulsion. Ainakoji, being a close friend to Airi, knew that him saying this would have more effect on the class and also on Airi herself. He knew Airi wouldn't be able to talk back to him. So that was the reason he didn't oppose Horikita. Because if it's not Kushida who's going to get expelled, then it has to be someone. Because 300 class points are the priority above everyone else. And so, he went for Sakura. She was the only person who could have been expelled in that short amount of time. Even students like Hondo have students who would back him up to not get expelled. So, Ainakoji made the decision since the priority of class was higher than Sakura. So, I believe Ainakoji's decision wasn't wrong. It was just the situation that wasn't very good. So, the question arises, why did Horikita make that decision and was it correct to do so? The only reasoning Horikita could have had would be that she believes she would be able to make use of Kushida. So, if you ask me what do I feel? If that was the correct decision, then I would say, no, I believe Horikita was wrong. My reasons for this are, okay, she believes that she would be able to use her talent for future in the chase to class A. But my question is, how will we be able to trust Kushida in future? How would we know that she is genuinely helping or is she pretending again? Moreover, it's not about us, the reader, but her classmates. How will they trust her again? So the very thing she was good at, which was friendship and keeping class together, isn't with her anymore. But here's the thing guys, we can't say Horikita's decision was wrong because things are not that simple. Life is just not black and white. You can't just say this thing is right or this thing is wrong or this decision was right or this decision was wrong. At this point, it's up to Horikita to prove if her decision was right or wrong. 
if by any big miracle she is able to pull Kushida to her side fully and make her gain her image back in class and use her ability in the chase to class A, then her decision would be the correct one. But if she fails, then her decision would be wrong. So the only way to know if a decision was truly correct or not is to wait and watch. Honestly, I have a lot to talk about here to volume 5, but I don't want to make this video any longer because by the time it comes out, we will be close to year 2 volume 6. Though I will share more of my thoughts on year 2 volume 5 in short videos and also, if you are still watching it till the end, then well I really appreciate it. See you then, have a nice day.